Hello everybody, glad you could make it. My name is Kayleigh Allen and welcome to this extra video. I know, I know, you're not expecting this, you're not expecting this. This is either Monday or Tuesday this is going out, but I kind of just thought I'd take the opportunity really because I'm here, I'm filming anyway. You, spoiler alert, you're going to see this version of me, this very low-key, low-effort version of me. You're going to see this again. But I just wanted, because can you see any of this? Oh, you can see like the tiniest sort of level of shrubbery there that is essentially some of the rescue boxes that have been pre-prepared to go out. But before before they went out, and there are still some left as of at least filming this, so you will have to check, I thought I'd show you what's in them because I have a tray of it and I just thought, why not? I'm here, right? If anybody wants to see it and get more context, they can. If they don't, then treat it as like a, I guess you could treat it as a haul type video, even though it's not a haul. One second, just very quickly, I have a UK box and I have an international box. We're trialing an international box, so you can buy a rescue box to send internationally, but you can only buy the more expensive one. It's not too much more expensive, but it is a bit. Now, now, I'll not bore you too much with the reasons for this, but essentially, to really condense it down for you, every single time I ship a plant internationally, I actually lose a bit of money because we don't charge you what it actually costs for both the phyto certificate and the shipping. We lose 10 to 20 pounds each time. And the 10 to 20 pounds bit ranges due to however many we sell to the US, we have to have those plants inspected, right? And it costs a flat fee. I think it's by the hour actually, but it tends to be under an hour for that inspection. So it costs that much and then it's about 30 pounds just for the phyto right shipping can can sometimes be up to 50 pounds it's ridiculous depends on where you are but we just need that cost right so we've only allowed you to do the more expensive box just to mitigate some of our costs a little bit because obviously if these boxes don't get to you this is not so good it's not quite the same as selling a normal plant where we've calculated the risks a bit more when it comes to rescue it's kind of like oh well we're doing this instead of throwing it out and i know that sounds terrible but what you have to think of is is it cheaper for me to throw it out than to send it out and have to refund you know the money that we've already spent even though we spent and more than that. Do you get what I'm saying? So international shipping, it's never been great, but that's the reason for that. The UK lot, you can buy either box. So that's why I'm not really spending any time on that. You can do what you want. So anyway, let's get straight into it. You know what? Just please allow me to deadlift this really quickly. La 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 la. And just put it here so I can get it to it quicker because it's a long way to walk across these aisles. Right. So if you haven't guessed, we're riding on energy drink this morning. It's quite flat actually. I'm going to show you stuff. It's not everything. You will see on the listings that there is more. There's some shinglers that I'm not going to pick up. E.g., I think there's Rafa Defora, Cryptanthor, there's Monsera de Baia, there's some Lupinum. There's a few things that I'm not holding up today just because I can't be bothered. They're shinglers. They never look good. It's fine, right? But you'll see them on the listings. These are in different boxes. I can't fully remember which box they're in either. So if you are interested, obviously, go to my shop, look for the rescue boxes and find the link. So without further ado, let's just get started. I do think this might be in the expensive box though. This here is, what is it? It's Syngonium red spot tricolor and you know what i love this plant obviously it's not they're not ridiculously worse for wear but they're not looking amazing obviously this bit of yellowing here that um, that might be fine that's probably gonna go the new growths are actually really nice like these plants are actively growing by the way generally speaking when i do the rescue boxes they are pest free but they may have minimal roots roots that have previously had raw yellowing leaves the usual thing that you'd expect from a rescue but generally speaking they're all actually okay i wouldn't sell anything that was absolutely just just on its last legs or anything so you know what you're getting so in terms of growth this one <laughs> It's actually quite nice to be honest. It's very very nice indeed but there is a little bit of yellowing here which isn't great. It will be fine though as to be honest the new leaf's really quite nice. It's just started to get mature I should probably mention that this particular one. They're not all like that but this one is we're now getting it point where it's breaking into three and I don't know if a lot of people know that about Syngonium. When they get mature they change shape quite a bit so obviously they start out like this and this is how everyone tends to love them and start out with them but they will actually end up doing this so fyi if you didn't know if you want this out of your plants i do suggest you maybe pull them let them climb up something um if you're not bothered then well you can really keep them like this so long i suppose because they climb anyway i've done this before you could keep trimming them and then just bushing them around it depends this is definitely more of a climby one but it is quite dense i do have a couple of other syngonium here that are arguably more dense than this and you can keep them as a bush a little bit better kind of depends what you want but if you want something that's pink and white that might be something you're interested in and as i say you're going to get some yellowing you're going to get some gnarliness but generally if it was me and i bought this to be honest and there's nothing actually wrong with this leaf but it just annoys me so i'd probably take 
these two off. Heck, I might even take that off and just let it let it be. So keep three leaves on it. Don't wrong, that's total overkill. There's nothing actually wrong with this at all. Even this one is fine. I'm just a bit weird and I sometimes shape bothers me a lot. Do you know what I mean? I can't be the only one. Sometimes shape really bothers me. So that is Syngonium Red Spot Tricolor. I will pop her down. We may as well just keep going with the Syngonium because I'm 99% sure the Syngonium are in the more expensive box. So, and again, they're open to both international and UK. But this one here, I believe, is one of my favorites. It's not super green though, which kind of makes me sad. I do have my own, but it's not looking so good. Not looking so good at all. My own would be, I think it's got more green on it. But this here is Syngonium Grey Ghost. So if you look, it's extremely white looking like this and it does have some green on it they'll be minimal let me just check the rest uh no generally speaking full transparency there's not a lot of green spots on there at all it's about as minimal as this i mean it, it, the plant kind of is anyway but this is super super minimal just in case that's a factor for you buying it or something uh, we've got some new growth here that's gone a bit a bit shit you can tell it's obviously got a bit blistered coming out can you see that maybe you can but generally speaking it's, it's all right maybe about a three leaf plant i would say will you stop this is it's probably going to be a theme of today. He's cute enough though. I would say he's cute. Look at him. Nothing wrong with him. I love the colour of these plants though. I love, 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 love frosted kind of plants. Not mint, different, frosted. I wouldn't really call this mint. I know a lot of people would, but I just, I just, I don't know. I just call it like a milky, frosty kind of vibe. I really, really like it. So pop him down. Where's the other Syngonium gone? Now, I really like these plants. This is just, it's just gnarly. I mean, it's it's healthy enough. It's just gnarly as hell. It's just all over the place. This here is what I believe to be Syngonium Panda. I'll just show you this here, like so. Is it gonna focus? Yes. That's the general vibe of what you're getting, like this. I think they're all of this, you know, generally variegated standard. Let me check for you. Because I've tried to pick things out as equal as possible. Obviously, the nature of what this is, they can't always be super equal because they're rescue like rehab plants and you just can't do that. Generally speaking, there are some with more variegation, some with slightly less. So this is probably average. And I do try and pick things out that are pretty much representative of what you'd get. So there's another one right there. Looks janky, but to be honest, if you could just train it, you get a really pretty bunch out of it because that is pretty. There's nothing really wrong with him, to be honest. He's very wobbly in his pot though. Let me pop him down. Oh my God, literally. If I could remember what else was in the expensive one, that would be great, but I can't. It could be, you know what, this, ah, oh, that might be in the cheap one. Let's pick this up. You'll know if I'm watching this, which one this is in. Do you remember these guys? These guys are one of my favorite plants of all time. And I have some rescues for you. That Generally, they're looking all right. Some of them are a bit folded up, but I think they're okay. They've been sort of rammed together. So you might get like a, you know, a one with a broken ear or something like that. Also, check this out. Literally. The yeah. air. Philodendron Florida Ghost. You, listen, the time is now, right? And I love these. And I don't know if it's actually slightly off season for these. Could be wrong because I know I say this every year. Things could be changing now and they could just be pumping them out more. I don't know what size you'd end up getting elsewhere. If it's TC or whatever, I don't really know. Um, as far as I know, these are propagated, at least before they got to me. Um, so I don't know, but this is basically, I think it, it, again, it's indicative of the size you probably get. One or two might be a bit smaller, but generally that's probably what you're going to get in the box. I think it's really cute look Ooh. so if you didn't know about philodendron florida ghost by the way they can come in way whiter than this they can come in almost white white and the petioles can go super super red um, and they will eventually fade down to a green this is sort of halfway through the, the fading process it's not quite as green as the others and obviously then it will go solid green although occasionally you can have some fun things happening like this one here and this by the way isn't a special one i picked out you will find patches on other ghosts where's it gone there it is you will find patches on other ghosts that do this there's plenty of them in there so if you get one it might be a really nice surprise you might get a little bit of this on them and i'm telling you there's plenty in there because I've seen them. There's at least 20 in there, I think. So yeah, very, very cute. I love these plants. And this one, to be honest, it almost shouldn't be in the rescue. There's nothing, there's nothing wrong with that. Obviously it's been propagated from, and you will see that in a lot of them. Yeah, you get a complete plant, but obviously you're going to have something that's been propagated from. Generally speaking though, it's very, very beautiful. And I am biased. I am. It's Florida Ghost, guys. Of course I'm biased. All right, what else we got? Ooh, this one's great. And I'm actually, the ones that aren't rescues, I am building my own little version of this for me. Um, I have all the all green version of this plant, but I, I really fancy this. And I've always wanted it and it's previously been quite expensive, but I've had my hands on this for a while and not all of it's doing amazingly, obviously. And this is still reasonably representative of what you'll get, but I'm just kind of really happy to have this. 
So I'm gonna build one for myself that isn't going out. But if you've seen this before, you might want it. This here is, what is it? Philodendron heteraceum variegated. So variegated heartleaf philodendron, literally. As in, if you didn't know, the heartleaf philodendron that's in like every garden center ever. You know, the really tough one. It's that, but variegated. And the variegation is kind of like a, it's it's almost like an epipremnum, uh, is it a happy, happy leaf? What is it? Not enjoy, that's different. What am I thinking of? A bit like a marble, marble queen or something. The variegation on it. It's not sector as such it is a bit different if I just show you that that's kind of what it looks like so this might interest you it might not I can't remember which box this is in I can't remember is it in the cheaper box I'm not sure but this is something that you could end up getting as well oh onto another one that used to be a favorite of mine and I'm not saying it's not anymore I think just once you've dealt with so many of them everything gets you eventually guys if you see 200 of something you're gonna love them but you're gonna love them a bit less just trust me it's just a it's uh, what would I call it it's like a peril of a job it is what it is. But I still love this plant though, make no mistakes. And these these plants will also come with little bits on them sometimes as well, I've noticed. Because I kept some back a couple of years ago and I was like, oh my god, they're variegated. They aren't. They just have some weird qualities that make them look that way. A little bit like some of those ghosts. But anyway, this is, what is it? Philodendron. Why Why can't I think? Is it by Penifolium aurea? My, my head's just gone completely blank there. Because they call it, a well, the variegated one, they call a golden violin. Is it bipenifolium? Is it? I want to say, yeah, it is. I can't remember the name of this. It's like my mind's gone completely blank. I'm calling it bipenifolium aurea though. Um, and it's really, really nice. And it, it will it will make you question yourself. For example, if I could show you this caterpillar here, I really hope it does focus on it. But can you see that it's kind of like two different colors? So the, this is pretty much the size of the plant you'll get. Again, a couple will be smaller, but most of them are this size. Um, you will find some petioles being cut is what is, c'est la vie. They still look good though. Um, but the main, the main, what's the word? The main, not selling point. I don't know. The tea on this plant is that it comes in and the leaves do come in this yellow color. This isn't unhealthy. This is how it comes in. So they come in this yellow color and they fade down. And this generally is the shape of the leaf that you will get. Oh, there's a little splodge on that one, look. That's very cute. There's little splodges on a couple of them. But that's what you get. Sorry, this is very, very wobbly in the pot and there's lacquer going everywhere. That is kind of the shape you end up with. And I wouldn't say this was super mature, but it's mature enough to prove the point anyway. That's what he looks like he's very nice as well you might want to be honest i'll probably pull some of these or just to be fair you could put it in a deeper pot than that and it'd probably be fine but some of these are a little bit wobbly obviously needless to say when you get sent them you'll get sent them bare root so that is that now these ones are a bit different i got these in a while ago and i've done nothing with them and i don't really have the space for them this is why these are going out there's nothing necessarily wrong with them and I actually i'd never seen these plants before this was a new one for me i, I think it would have got in a hole but there was like one plant that i got in that was new I think. Am I right? Pretty much. So there was no point in doing it. So it just sort of passed me by and I didn't think about it. But these guys here are what I think is philodendron. Is it Macaulay's fa final finale? Can't remember. Um, they're actually all right, you know. They're really tough from what I can see. But have you seen this? This is actually quite sexy. So they're obviously in like a really chubby, stout, like rosette kind of formation. They have the most quite honestly the most gorgeous red veins look at that can i just say this that looks amazing the leaves are very 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 leathery are they as leathery as monstera that is the question yeah easy easy almost almost the same as monstera deliciosa they are that thick and leathery and they are that chunky so already i can tell you that these are very tolerant of being underwatered they're very very tough because they can store all the water in these and feed off them for a while i'm not sure what it's coming off like on camera but so far this is looking very 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 sexy this one's obviously had a bit of a trim and there's a new leaf there's a couple of new leaves coming out here have a look at that that's what new leaves come in as i do have some that come in a bit brighter than that but generally that's the vibe that you're getting i really quite like these i'm kind of sad to to let them go but really at this point it's a space thing i've had to downgrade a little bit of space due to the feed and stuff like that being in here and i'm a little bit sad about these these are really nice and obviously they're being grown a little bit shriveled up because i've just had them sort of packaged together it is a bit of a shame but if you want something a little bit different you may just get one in your box look at that <gasps> you know that looks really nice oh don't don't i've advertised them now i can't not put them in boxes <laughs> i quite like them it's one of these things where you see them in person and to be fair i do like it in person i'm not saying i don't but then you see them on camera and you're like <gasps> Ooh. Like, look how good. Ooh. 
That looks really good. That looks really good. Right, an old favourite of mine. Again, a bit squishied. This, these are, these have weared less well, I think. Out of all the rescue stuff, this these are among the ones that look worse, I would say. And this is a good old friend. This is Philodendron Atabapuensi. If you didn't know, they look like this on the back. You get this gorgeous, and it is a gorgeous colour. It's like a blood red burgundy type colour. They are climbers. Internodal spacing is not amazing. Just letting you know, because some people hate that. I don't love it. I like a short internode. Um, and the main leaves, which again, they have suffered a bit, to be honest, they look like this. So they're quite long and pointy. Not quite a spiritus vibe, but they are quite nice, to be honest. I do like these plants and they are quite tough. They just show damage more. So they won't die on you, but they will let you know that there was a problem, if that makes sense. And I feel like people that own this plant, they know what I'm talking about. Like things like uh, Billetai, which I'm actually about to hold up, they don't show it as much. They're so much tougher. Whereas these guys, in my opinion, they'll show you when they've they've had enough and this definitely has so you can see a little bit of yellowing but all in all it's all right there's still roots coming out of the bottom of the pot you know we're good we're good but that's him anyway again probably reminiscent of size if anything where are they hang on where have i put them oh they're around the corner are they no that's billetai where have they gone I can't find them. One moment, because now I'm annoyed because I can't see them. They're not here. They're in a they're in another batch that I can't see. But I think this is the same, if not slightly smaller than the other one. So again, pretty sizable. The plants I'm giving out aren't tiny plants, but there we go. Put that down there. Oh, one of my old favourites. I used to have a variegated one of these years ago, and it was all right actually. I kind of regret getting rid of it, but everyone may remember if you've been with me long enough the great downsizing of like 2019 or wherever it was. Um, I just had to do these things. But these 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 are all right. They, they look quite good actually these are very tough plants but i think it's at the point now where i just have too many and they need to go i have a couple of ba uh, buckets of those but these here that i'm showing you are philodendron moonlight and they're very very cute this is essentially what moonlight is it's very very similar vibe to the bipenifolium aurea but this stays really a lot lighter generally like they will never really go the leaves will never go normal green color i can't articulate this at all it stays lighter, it stays more limey. Generally, it's a very lime plant. And when the leaves come in, they will come in closer to a yellow like this. And they call it Philodendron Moonlight. And I am so sick now of Lekka. I have about 10 different bowls just sort of waiting to trip me up down here. But that's him. This is very indicative of the size that you'll get right next to my head. Granted, I have a small head, but still, um, that's very indicative of the size you get. And you might get the odd yellow bit, but generally they're all pretty sturdy. The roots are okay. You know, no problems there. But I thought I'd show you him because he's very, very cute. What else do we have? We have a couple more yet, guys. And remember, this isn't even all that's on there. So if you want to have a look, there it is, because I know there's Dubai. -er. There's Dubai, Cryptantha, um, and stuff like that in the more expensive box, but I'm not going to show you them because I can't really get to them. There's so many boxes. So this guy here, you know what? I really like this plant. I really like this plant, but it's, it's, it's tough, but it, I don't know. I don't know how to, to really talk about this plant. It is a very, very tough plant. Obviously it shows damage pretty well, but in terms of sizing up, this is actually your boy. If you look here, obviously I propagated from it. You can see it here, I propagated from it, but <laughs> I'll have to literally hold this. It's all right. He's just, he's very imperfect. But if you look at how quickly he can actually size up without being um, pulled or anything, he's quite good at it, actually, the little um, philodendron gigas. What is not good at it is this guy here. Let me get him, although he's very cute. And this is the plant that I would argue most people do prefer. I'm going to compare it to the Geigers because it seems like the apt thing to do on this video. Because again, you could get this too. And that is this guy here. This is Philodendron Melanochrysum. This is Geigers. I know. Has anyone held them up in a similar size? I don't know. They are very similar. They are very, very similar if I can show you them there. So that's this one I'm shaking now is Melanochrysum. This one I'm shaking now is Geigers. Check them out. There's not a lot in it, is there? Now, there is when you look at the... Is there when you look at the growth pattern? Not really, no. I'm lying again. I feel like if you want... If you want some of that size, up more and I realize this isn't really a choice thing because you get what you get in the box but I think if you want some sizes up more it's Gygus and the shape of these does actually change if you're happy with things sizing up less it's melano um, a lot of people prefer melano obviously I mean it's, it's a beautiful plant I can't knock it look how nice this is in terms of the quality of what you're going to get I'll tell you now Gygus are probably going to be less than perfect but then again I have shown you something that is definitely less than perfect you probably get these so many of the Gygus I have are bigger than these right let me try and get you one very very quickly because i can see a huge one here i just don't know if i can grab it give me one second guys literally literally look at this look at the size of that so many of them are larger okay 
but I picked out a smaller one. Yeah, Geigers are definitely taking more of a hit as we speak, because obviously I've moved them and checked them before sale, so they've been disturbed a little bit. So the Geigers you're going to get are probably going to be in need of a bit more rehab. The Mel's are probably going to be a lot stronger, generally, so you should get something hopefully similar to this. They might be torn leaves, they might be all sorts, but it is what it is. Let me pop these back in here, like that. I thought I'd hold them up together, though, because obviously they're very similar. Uh, do I just have one more to show you? I think so. And again, there are more than these. Why don't I just sell this, this particular one? I think it's pretty indicative of size as well. Yeah, it is. They're not small plants, to be honest. I worry about getting them all in because that'll go in a box, but it depends if other big stuff goes in with it. Do you know what I mean? I might have to balance them out when I send them. If you've ever wanted a bill tie, maybe you might want to try your hand on one of these boxes. And I have plenty of them, by the way. It's definitely, there's definitely going to be a fair few people getting bill tie, 100%. The things I've got the most of, bill tie, Gygus, Moonlight, Painted Lady. Did I even show you the Painted Lady? I haven't showed you the Painted Lady. I haven't showed you the Painted Lady. One second, because we're running out of time. This is Painted Lady. <laughs> Sorry, interlude. Philodendron Painted Lady very quickly. Very, very pretty. A really weird kind of fizzy variegation. Leaves come in kind of yellow and they fade down to a green colour. And they've got these really nice rhubarby petioles here. So that's Painted Lady if you've ever seen it. There you go, that's what they come in as. I will hold it while I talk about this because I realise I have forgotten. It's because I have a whole box full of stuff and it's just... It's wedged full. But anyway, billet tie, probably going to be this size. Yeah, there might be some smaller ones, but generally, this is probably what you're getting. So if you ever fancied yourself a billet tie, there you go. I can't remember what boxes that's in. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm sorry, guys. I can't remember. I may put them up on the screen and let you know, flash every so often what's in box one and what's in box two. Or am I just right box two? That might be a lot easier, actually. So I'm saying all this throughout the video. You probably already know what box they're in. And a quick reminder that obviously if you're in the UK, you can have either. If you are international, you cannot. Um, I don't love people buying multiple boxes, by the way. The reason for that is it's quite hard to keep them very, very randomized when they're all going to the same person because there's a finite set of plants to use for the boxes. So the reason why I don't like multiples, there isn't a weird reason or anything. It's not because I don't want people to have good deals. It's just, it's very hard to keep them randomized. So if one person ordered five boxes, but I only have, like I think in the case of the expensive plants, there's only six plants. I can't keep that as randomized as what the buyer would probably like. That's why I kind of limit how many people can buy. I can't get my words out today. But anyway, these are the last two plants. Let me just pop them down. I love this Billy though. I think my favorite out of all of them is either this Macaulay's final finale, or to be honest, the ghost. But then I would say that because I'm very biased towards ghost, obviously. I mean, he's just cute. But generally, that's what's in the boxes. Again, I will flash up what's in each box. I will leave the link down below to my shop, even though I think it's in the description anyway, to be honest. Uh, what else is left to do? Oh, since it's down here, don't forget, feeds out. Uh, I've heard nothing but good things. I don't think I've heard anything bad yet. You never know. It's the internet, but my feed is still up for sale on the website. Super quick update for you, and it is a super quick update. We finally got approved on Amazon, guys. We finally got approved. Can you believe it? Uh, it's not up there yet, and it's probably still not up there as of uh, you seeing this video because we have to package it up and send it off, but we're going to be. But that's good. It means the hard part's over now. So you can either buy it from me or you can buy it from Amazon, whatever you, you, know, you prefer. Still only in the UK, but it's been worked on. It's been worked on, as well as a few things. Anyway, that is it for my weird extra video, I guess. I do have some other things coming soon. I may have some merchandise coming. I may have some merchandise coming. I am so excited. But until then, thank you very much for watching this little extra video. I hope it was at least entertaining. At least you get to see what's actually sort of going on. And I guess I'll see you on Friday as usual. That's it, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Please leave a like down below if you like my content and subscribe if you haven't already. Till then, I'll see you Friday. Bye.